Hi again, and oh boy, we've got a lot to talk about. For those who don't know, this video is a follow-up to an earlier investigation of an, officially speaking, unnamed Pegasus mare with a weirdly high number of Alicorn animation errors, even compared to the usual. Word of warning, if you haven't already watched that last video, many aspects of this one won't make a lot of sense. Anyway, so first things first, we asked previously for different name suggestions on what we should call her going forward. As the video title suggests, we did in fact gather more than enough name suggestions for a community tab poll, and the name Bucket was the most consistently popular name out of all of them. Rather poetic, given said name was originally suggested as a joke. Strangely enough, after I started uploading my own artworks a bucket to the internet, someone on Derpy Buru actually ran a separate naming poll for the same character featuring one of my artworks, this time favouring the name Shiny Sparks. I don't know, I just found that kind of funny. Strictly speaking, Bucket still technically has the higher vote count on YouTube poll, though given Shiny Sparks is now the official name on Derpy Buru, I'm going to be using both names interchangeably just to minimise confusion. Either way, we now have some common identifiers with which to work with. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about is we actually have a voice for the character from the episode Main Melody Karaoke Beauty Salon. While we don't get a real name for her in the voice acting credits, we now know Bucket has an East Coast American accent, either Boston or New Jersey. Thirdly, it turns out there was actually a sixth unconfirmed Alicorn sighting that I completely overlooked in my original video. Occurring in the exact same episode as the third confirmed sighting, this one matches the exact same pattern we described in the previous video with both Bucket and her unicorn body double appearing in the exact same crowd, only for the rear shot to depict both ponies as having a unicorn horn just seconds earlier. And yes, we know this is Bucket and not just a doppelganger of the unicorn, as said pony is seen seated next to this exact same pink-maned earth pony in both shots. Adding this to our existing data only makes the comparison even stranger. Now for the final bit of news, it turns out the latter unicorn may have actually come first. Appearing in the new generation movie with the inclusion of glasses, she was later titled Periwinkle Pie in an Equestria Daily naming contest. Emphasis on may have, since later appearances in Make Your Mark of what seems to be the same pony show some major differences. Most notably, the cutie mark is very different from what we see in Tell Your Tale. As such, whether or not this is the same character remains unclear, and I would very much appreciate hearing your opinions on this particular matter. For now, that's about as much as we've got. We still don't have very much information on who Bucket is as a character. At most, we know she once worked at a soap stand for the Lunar Festival, is usually seen around either Zephyr Heights or Maritime Bay, and apparently owns a masquerade mask. Maybe we'll see more from the character in the future, but for now we're pretty much left to fill in the gaps with our own headcanons. Thanks again for watching, and let me know if there's anything else. Take care.